Yeah. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the NAACP Founders Day and the state of the NAACP DeKalb County branch. Today, we celebrate 112 years since the day that we were founded. So tonight, what we're going to do is briefly uh, celebrate NAACP, and then we're going to provide you with some of the accomplishments of the Cab County branch and some of the outlook that we're going to do in 2021. Okay, uh, one of the, <laughs> here's a quote from our branch president. Our branch president is Teresa Hardy. And one of the things that she will often say, or that I often say is, we are not free unless all of us are free. And I say that because in the context of why do we still need NAACP today is because we have not achieved that mission. So until all of us are free, none of us are free. Happy Founders Day to the NAACP. Uh, NAACP was founded on February the 12th. Uh, there were about six people who have founded it. And out of the six, there were two African-Americans out of B. Wells and W.E.B. Du Bois who were a part of this found uh, um, of charter. Uh, the organization was founded to, uh, to the call for civil rights and equal justice for everyone. So today we celebrate 112 years of the civil rights organization, NAACP. So we're gonna move right into the state of the Cab County branch. And remember the way we are set up is NAACP uh, was founded by the National, which sits in Baltimore, Maryland, but each state has a state conference. And then under the state conference, there are several units that are called branches. And then for our youth and college division. So the mission, as I stated before, the biggest thing is, and I want to read the mission statement so that everyone understands what the NAACP uh, mission and vision statement is. And that is the mission of the NAACP is to ensure that educational, social, economic equality of rights of all persons and to eliminate racial hatred discrimination. We need to make sure that we understand that. So that means in the mission statement that there's an area for every piece of our life or the quality life that we want to withstand in. The NAACP is here to advocate on our behalf. Some of the accomplishments that NAACP DeKalb has done, we have increased our membership um, by 50% or more. Um, we had 300 and around 380 members and now we're close to 800 members. We have been able to re retain um, our corporate sponsors. We have increased our membership participation. We have increased our visibility through out the Cab County through our committees. We have created and, and facilitated social and political forums. We hosted our AXO program locally and participated in the national AXO comp competition. We played major roles in the efforts of our voter, voter registration, education and mobilization over the past few years. We have attended churches throughout the Cab County and we also attend our DeKalb County Board of Registrars, our um, Board of Education, and our Board of Commissioners, and several community and town hall meetings. So now that we're into 2021, what are we planning to do? What is our outlook for 2021? So what we've come up with is our E3 Game Changers. And E3 is educate, 
equipped and empowered. And we're carrying it up, that over from 2020. Our game changers are one, public policy. When we talk about public policy, that is inclusive to our voter registration outreach, as well as um, the bills, the uh, House and Senate um, bills that are going on at the state level, as well as the DeKalb delegation, um, and as well as what's going on in Congress. Economic sustainability includes job creation, getting jobs, for our employment opportunities, housing, real estate, entrepreneurship. Those are just a few of the, uh, the types of uh, activities that we're going to advocate on the economic sustainability. And then we have our education advocacy. We're looking for a quality education for all students. And we want to make sure that we uh, advocate on behalf of our teachers, and of course, we are looking to making sure that our schools are more surrounded around the community and not just isolated to just the administration, students and parents. When we think about education, education includes for all of us. All of us have an impact to it. Education is one of the key things to how our real estate and anything that's being developed in our community um, should thrive. Criminal justice reform. We are a big advocate of criminal justice reform. Yes, we do believe that if you commit a crime that you should do the crime, uh, do the time. But sometimes we, uh, the things that we know about our justice system is just not fair. And so that's why we wanted to make sure that we put together a plan around alternatives to incarceration, police reform, and making sure that we remove the idea of having a uh, third grade school uh, to uh, prison pipeline. And then it's our health advocacy. Right now, our number one, number one is COVID-19. Uh, we've dealt with it for what, about a year now since we've known its existence. But through that, we want to make sure that now that the vaccinations are becoming available, that this, this process is done in an equitable fashion. We've already been told or showed the data, the data actually shows right now that even though um, COVID-19 impacted a majority of the black community, majority of the vaccinations have begun to go to um, our white uh, community. So we want to make sure and advocate on behalf of our black community to be able to have access to the vaccine and so that we can actually get a control over um, COVID-19. Then we have our youth engagement. We have a um, AXO program where um, a, a lot of our high school students are able to participate in a local car, uh, competition from our academia side. And then we want to make sure that we're providing a mentor, coach, guidance type of um, support to our youth. If, it, if we don't show our youth today uh, what is going on as it relates to the history around civil rights and equal rights and social justice, then when should we start to do that? So we want to increase our youth engagement in the areas of being a part of the youth council, as well as our AXO program, and literally getting to be a part of all the committee work that NAACP has. So when we think about uh, these game changers, is an easier way to, uh, to remember what we're doing with the NAACP. So if anyone was to ask you what's going on with NAACP, we've came up with a catchy uh, acronym that you should be able to remember. First of all, we sit in Georgia. So we're using the Georgia peach as a symbol. And because the Cap County is now known as the leader to making things change for the state of Georgia, that's why we wanna make sure we have game changers that are specific that you can actually remember. 
So with that, we want you to remember this, peachy. When we're talking about the E3 game changers, we want you to remember they are peachy. Peachy is public policy, economic sustainability, education advocacy, criminal justice reform, health advocacy, and youth engagement. Again, peachy, everyone. Some of our key initiatives and our connects that we'll be focusing on for 2021 is one, we mentioned COVID because we wanna make sure that there's uh, that we end the racial injustice to this. Um, Stone Mountain Park, uh, we want to remove racial and hatred Confederate monuments from the park so that it becomes a community friendly park. And then uh, we are working on a couple of cases with the CDC, and these are discrimination cases, as well as Grady, um, um, discrimination cases with Grady as well. Then we have our advocacy ally um, groups throughout the Cap County that we're working to make sure that your voice is heard, um, our students are heard, our community is heard in the areas of our school board, our public health, the DeKalb government, the DeKalb delegation house and Senate side, the DeKalb juvenile, the DeKalb judges, solicitor general, DA and public defenders, the DeKalb sheriff department, the DeKalb police department, and then in all inclusive to DeKalb County, 750,000 plus citizens. These are our connects and our initiatives that we're gonna work on to make things better for DeKalb County. Again, peachy. Now let's talk about the way our uh, NAACP DeKalb Executive Committee is set up and organized to be able to um, provide you with <clears throat> any assistance in the areas of our committee work. So we have our elected officers, um, Teresa Hardy as president, Lance Hammonds as first vice president, Edwina Clanton as second vice president, Troy Vincent as third vice president, and then we have our members at large, Reverend Stephen Dow Sr., uh, Dr. Bambi Hayes Brown, Mr. Gil Garland, um, Pastor Demetrius McCoy, and Ms. Cherry Willis. Those are the elected officers for the NAACP DeKalb County branch. In addition to our officers, we have now uh, appointed committee chairs. And these, this is where all the work begins um, uh, with what we're trying to do. So if you're interested in any of these committees, here are the key contacts for each one. So our communications, press and publicity, is Albert Fields, uh, Criminal Justice, Teresa Hardy, Finance, Marcus Dorsey, In, uh, Freedom Fund, Ingrid Owens, Legal Redress, Tawana Jones, Political Action, Nadine Ali, AXO, Frida Hammonds, Education, Nakia Hill, Membership, Thel Moore, Youth Works, Lance Hammonds, Remembrance Project, D. Smith, Armed Services and Veterans Affairs, Edwina Clanton, Health, Dr. Chris Griffith, Housing, Marquita Killenbeck, Environmental and Climate Justice, Sonia Gutter, Women in NAACP, Denise Allen, Community Coordination, Steve Harris, Economic Development, Lisa Wright, Labor and Industry, Troy Vincent, Religious Affairs, Donna Dees. All, all of these people, uh, can be contacted if you're interested in these committees. And what we'll do is briefly go through our committees um, and what we're planning to do in our committees. And if you're interested, you can uh, put something in the chat and someone will uh, reach out to you in the chat. Our committees um, start off, we'll start off with AXO. We're we're targeting 50 students. And I think at this point we have a, a approximately 35 participating in our EXO program. The workshops are being done on a, a weekly or bi-weekly basis. 
and we're planning for the local competition to be in uh, March or April, and it will be virtual. And the goal winners will be participants in the national competition. And there will be incentives for participating and um, placing on the local level. Our Armed Services and Veterans Affairs, we want to make sure that we honor and celebrate all of our veterans. So we wanna make sure that we're providing resource information to anyone in the Armed Services or Veteran Affairs. Communications, press and publicity is uh, going to build our brand um, for, uh, uh, build our brand based on the NAACP standards by utilizing the communication tools that you see on this list. Our community coordination will uh, connect with external community organizations, including but not limited to churches, homeowners associations, businesses, elected officials, and panelated groups. If anyone is interested, again, you can place your interest in the chat and someone will assist you. Criminal justice, uh, we will be educating the community on alternatives to incarceration. We will educate the community on the use of force policies and we're recruiting and training members to be court watchers. Our economic development plan, we want to create a black business directory. We want to increase the engagement for black businesses and provide opportunities to support black businesses and prepare workshops for small businesses to obtain contracts locally, state and federal. Uh, and we do have a black wealth agenda that we're working with our um, state representative, Darshan Kendrick. Uh, for education, we created a community volunteer uh, program or initiative uh, prior. We want to increase that po poll, that pool of uh, volunteers to a target of 100 participants so that we can actually support our school system, whether we're virtual or in person. We will continue to monitor the school board, administration, principals, teachers, and students. Environmental justice, we're going to continue to in, increase our advocacy of effort for environmental issues. And being in the southern end of the county, we have quite a few. Um, they're not limited to, but here are a few. The fog, rivers, spills, leaks, and sewage. We want to make sure that we are able to provide advocacy efforts toward ending, um, uh, pre preventing these issues in our community. Our finance will uh, we'll have a overall budget for the organization. Um, an internal audit will be done. We will prepare budget versus actual reports for each committee and prepare for our fundraising growth. Uh, Freedom Fund is our fundraising uh, committee. Um, this is where all the ideas will uh, come to this uh, committee. Uh, we are planning to maximize our sponsorship efforts. We will have an NAACP boutique with t-shirts, hats, et cetera. And um, this committee will oversee the events, the main events for the, for the branch. For health, and I, we've said this before, our number one, top one is COVID-19 and vaccine updates, but we want to continue our advocacy for the wellness of our children, women, men, and black families. For housing, we want to make sure that we analyze the information concerning housing conditions in DeKalb County. And we are going to make sure that we oppose all restrictive practices and procedures, whether public or private. Uh, we're advocating for housing workforce initiatives, and we're gonna develop a homelessness to home ownership initiative from the um, branch for the community. For labor and industry, we want to uh, continue our efforts to improve transportation as a whole, um, i.e. getting rail down I-20 uh, to Stonecrest. Uh, we want to make sure that we share job opportunities to the community. And then we want to make sure that we 
provide opportunities for uh, information for uh, good paying union jobs. Uh, and we'll continue to monitor union activities in our community. Legal redress. Legal redress is our intake for all complaints. So we want to educate our members on that process, but we will conduct workshops on any legal entities. Um, and then our direct action, we will educate our community on how that's done according to the NAACP bylaws. And then we're going to identify trends and collaborate with legal organizations. Uh, for membership, we're going to increase our membership engagement with with um, during our membership orientation. All new members actually go through an orientation that will be done monthly. Um, we will also send uh, renewal notices on a timely basis. Membership increase of 50% is our goal. Uh, we plan to do that by partnering with churches, homeowners associations, businesses, elected officials, Panhellenic groups to help reach the goal of 2,400 members. We need 2,400 members for the month of February. Our goal is to get 400 members. So become a member if you're not a member. Political action, we will educate to churches, schools, and communities on the voting process. Uh, we will mobilize our vo volunteer database throughout the Cap County. We um, create a plan to increase voter participation and turnout in every election, not just the presidential and government election. We want to make sure that we increase it in every election. All elections matter, but most definitely local elections matter. And we will advocate for public policy that is equal and just for all people. Our religious community, we're going to continue to plan to do church visits um, the second and uh, our fourth Sundays post COVID. Um, we're wanting to increase our collaboration efforts with religious entities. And of course, we're going to promote a membership campaign to all religious entities. Our Remembrance Project is where we're memorializing victims of lynching. Uh, for DeKalb County. Uh, we want to continue to educate our community on the history of lynching. Uh, we already have our marker in DeKalb County uh, in front of the uh, courthouse, and we're going to implement marker installments for Lithonia, hopefully this month, and then North Druid is in, in the planning stages as well. And then we're going to actually plan for the module to be installed um, as soon as we hear from EJI on that process for receiving it. And then we have our Women in NAACP. Women in NAACP is our advocacy group for women and children. Our target is to retain 50 plus WIN members. Uh, we're going to implement advocacy and education activities for sexual harassment, domestic violence, and then our community service, our biggest community service activity is the WIN Turkey Drive, where we give out, um, I think uh, we, our goal is 500 turkeys, but last year in November, we gave away around 750 turkeys. Our youth council, our target is to get uh, 50 to 100 students to participate in the youth council. Uh, we want to train, mobilize, and organize our youth with the adult branch. We want to be able to provide scholarship opportunities as well as employment opportunities to our youth. Okay, I don't think there is there any questions in the chat at this point. We can move on. Okay. Well, I hope all the information has been helpful. Um, but at this time, now that you know where we've been and where we're going, we're going to ask that you now join the NAACP. Uh, today is our Founders Day. Again, we've been here 112 years. Uh, it would be wonderful if we get 112 new members today um, to help celebrate our, our, our day. And here's how you can do that. 
you can join today by going to our website, uh, www.naacpdecab.org. We do need you to fight for justice. Um, you can actually become a regular annual member at $30 a year, or you, be you can become a uh, lifetime member for $750 where you can pay $75 for 10 years, over the 10 years, um, to be a lifetime member. And that's where we really want everyone to get in. And if we have any youth, we want in our youth to join. Um, and the cost for the youth is $10. And if there's anyone that wants to sponsor memberships for your family, uh, for the youth, we welcome that as well at this time. Any new members? We have any new members? Okay, let's say that you, let's say that you have, um, you are a regular member and you're active, um, you're a lifetime member and you want to support the initiatives that we brought forth today. We would ask that you would consider being a donor uh, at any level. All donations are welcome and we do uh, appreciate them. And in order for you to donate today, you can also go to our website. We have a donate, uh, we have a donate button, uh, www.naacpdecab.org. You can donate any amount or you can consider going to the cash app, uh, sending us a cash app, we do have a cash app at the NAACP DeKalb, Georgia, GA, on that part. I think I saw some people saying that they raised their hands, but what y'all don't know is I can't see any of that. <laughs> yeah, yes, I know about the Founders Day t-shirts, yes. We're gonna get to that. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Representative Evans have the resolutions. We'll, we'll okay, we can present those at the um, 227 meeting. Um, just call me and we can talk about that. All right. Okay. I think the other things will go. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna go into our announcements and I think our members have been putting their announcements in the chat, which is great. Um, they are also included in this um, presentation. So we'll move right on to that because we do need to go to the um, Georgia. Georgia. Okay, I think Mr. Hammonds were putting in the chat about our youth council meeting. We are looking for middle and high school um, to be at our uh, youth council meeting on Saturday, February the 20th at 2 p.m. And this is a Zoom meeting. Every parent, every neighbor should include their children on here. Even if they're not middle school and high school, we have something for you to do this time. So we want every child that can. And uh, we've increased our web webinar for the Zoom so that we can hold up to a thousand people. So we want to make sure that you actually get on the call on February the 20th. Do not worry about whether you need $10 to join. We just need the youth to be present. We're going to elect officers. We're gonna take you through that process. And you do have a guest um speaker that's going to come um uh, her name is temple lester and she's from DeKalb county she's our stem uh guru who has um who has a love for stem and is going around teaching other young people to get involved with stem so she will be our guest but we want to make sure that every youth in the cab county throughout the cab county actually join our youth council meeting on saturday february the 20th at 2 p.m. Um, 
to go with that, this month has been our Black History Month. And if you have not had a chance to visit our YouTube channel so that you can see all the videos that we have been providing, or you can see it on our social media, our communications press uh, and publicity team has been uh, creating videos so that people can see Black History moments um, and actually getting us all geared up to become members. All of that is on our Facebook social media outlets in NAACP DeKalb, but also our YouTube. That is what we've been doing for the month of Black History Month. Again, our goal is to have 112 youth participate in a Black History program on February the 27th, as well as we need to have 400 members um, join in NAACP. And our theme for our Black History Month program is that we are more than 28 days. We are more than 28 days. And our Black History Month theme has been the, the beloved community. And that is what we are. OK. All right, we're getting fired up and ready to go. Um, before we go, I don't have the shirt. Oh, yes, I do. So we have Founders Day shirts. And if you want to get your shirt today or tomorrow, this weekend, they are $10. We have plenty to go for the whole month. It would be great if everyone gets a shirt and wear it to the Black History Program on February the 27th. Again, the cost is $10. We have sizes from small to 2X. Okay. Are there any other questions in the chat? Seeing none? Okay. We do have one more program that is going on right now, 5.30. Our president at the state level is having a state of the state conference, uh, uh, state of the state conference, um, a meeting agenda for tonight as we celebrate or continue oh, to celebrate Founders oh, Day. Oh. Hello, where can we purchase? You can purchase your t-shirts uh, via Cash App and make arrangements to actually come and pick them up at the office. Ramonda, are you going to come tonight? <laughs> oh, okay. What time can you be here, Ramonda? Okay. All right, okay, um, at this point, um, Lance, Troy, Edwina, do you guys have anything that you want to say? Um, I don't, you, you've pretty much covered everything, you know, so I don't personally have anything I should have said. So thank you for being so thorough. Yeah. Okay. I just say great program and everybody on the call, you need to get fired up and ready to go because we're gonna have a great year. Anybody else? Albert, Steve. I do see there is a question from uh, Nancy has her hand raised. Okay. Nancy, um, what's your question? You can put it in the chat. I can't see that, Steve, so. I can't, um, I can't see her or whoever it is. Uh, 
Okay. We good? See, can you reach out to her to see what she needed? Sure. Okay. And what I will do is I will play the music and um, everyone can get the whatever needs through the chat. Um, I do need to switch over to the state. Um, we all do need to, yeah, did you have a question? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, there is a Zoom link for the state conference. Um, all right, Representative Evans, um, yes, give me a call so that we can figure out how we can do that because I, I think I have a full agenda, but I would love for you to go ahead and do that presentation, okay? I don't have the link, the link for the, Lance, do you have the link for the state conference? Can you put that in the? Yeah, let me look it up. Okay. Or Albert, did you have it on that? We'll get the link for the state program that's going on now. <laughs> 